we can do that. Uh, we were on an ocean, uh, ocean um, apart. So we had to be creative and come up with this kind of ideas like a crossover puzzle with clues about things that we talked or about us. On uh, a Banks D, it's very thin, it's just my photocopy of my boarding passes when I uh, came in July 2012 uh, for the last time uh, to visit her. I had to catch two planes, that's why there's uh, two photocopies here was one from uh, Oporo in Portugal to Toronto and then I had to change planes in Toronto from Toronto to a uh, city that I'm living now. So, uh, also, I wanted to put here the, um, the photocopy of the boarding passes the first time I came to visit because I came to visit my then girlfriend, my wife, uh, before that, before July. Uh, but uh, that was, uh, I guess, that the was in Portugal. That documentation, those boarding passes, uh, stayed in Portugal. Uh, like I once read on a, a forum about people that are passing through the same similar things that we are passing to sponsorship obligations. Uh, you have to work with what you have. You cannot make up things. If you have it, you have it. If you don't, you don't. You will not make up documents, right? So that those boarding passes from the first time that I was here, uh, it would be nice to put here, those photocopies, to prove that I came to visit my wife uh, uh, for 11 days in, on uh, my spring break, a uh, couple months before my uh, I came here for uh, to live with her. And, uh, but... That's in Portugal, so there's nothing I can do about it. Anyway, you have to work with what you have. So, appendix E. And there's the receipt of our wedding rings. When I explain here on that cover letter, that's uh, where we bought, the, I put here the website, we bought the, the wedding rings, and uh, the fact that both rings are engraved, and what it says on both rings. So this is the photocopies. There's uh, one photocopy for each ring. This one. Here, copy of the first ring, photocopy of the second ring. Anyway, Venice F, it's also very thin, but also very important. It's a photocopy of our wedding invitations. I made a photocopy in color of our wedding invitations. It, we thought it was important to, to put it here. To, uh, names and um, where the the west the, um, the wedding was and the time and the date etc and it was important thanks g wedding photos uh just putting wedding photos because the, the there's description on each photo so i put here the photos uh like i said before um uh, paper regular paper printer paper is fine uh, be prepared to spend a lot of uh, color ink to print each and every photo. We spend lots of uh, ink, uh, both color and and black ink, uh, for this kind of application, but uh, it was worth it. So there's the photos. We explain. We put the dates, the location, and the fact that it's our wedding day, and we explain the photo. I wrote it by hand. Also, other photos, the same thing. Photocopies of photocopy wedding cake. Photocopy, um, photo of the wedding cake, I mean. Uh, photo of the cutting the cake as well. Uh, photo of um, the my wife's family uh, with us, very important. Photocopy. Of the, the vows, you know. But, uh, anyway, so now we have here on Appendix H, congratulatory cards and letters we received on our wedding. Uh, we got married on the Pride Center of Edmonton. 
and they gently gave us uh, a document like this. This is a photocopy. The original is is with us. We're gonna send a photocopy of that, but it's very very nice. Uh, it says congratulations, Diana and Jade. This is our names, and um, the fact that we are married, and there's a little wedding, and that we are married in the bright center of Edmonton, and we wish you much happiness forever. That's a um, congratulatory letter that we received. Uh, we thought it would be important to send along with this application. Oh, this is a photocopy, so do not send originals, please, because originals will not be returned. Uh, they're signed, the, the staff signed it. Frankly, so it's very, very nice, very, very cute. Also, I took photocopies of colors of the cards that we received. This card uh, is from this card here, right? Uh, this card is from um, my uh, wife's parents and one, one of her brothers. So here, and our names here, the signatures, and it's very nice. Basically, it's wishing us uh, happiness of our wedding. No, match. Also another card, a photocopy of another card, color photocopy, uh, from uh, another uh, of, uh, attendee of the wedding, which was uh, one of my wife's uh, brothers as well. Uh, also, um, appendix I. There's a phone records uh, from my wife. Uh, for some odd reason, uh, I could not get my phone records from my phone. Uh, I call uh, Fido, which is my uh, uh, the company I have um, a contract with. I explained the situation, and they said that I needed for them to give me the information, I need to get the lawyers and stuff like that. Anyway, my wife got this information about her phone records and complete history of her records with no problem. And she's from another company, Talos, so I think this is the way it is. So, uh, yeah, here I got uh, four copies from um, May, uh, June, July, and August. So, four copies of the first four months before sending this application. Um, I put here, I can show you what it does. Like this. Looks like this. So, I highlighted the. Um, <clears throat> Every time my num my phone number appears on the, um, the history of my wife's phone records and um, the length of the call as well and the date that the call was made and uh, it continues to the page as well. Lots of phone calls <laughs> as well. So we thought it would be important for uh, for CCP Immigration Canada to know that we communicate to each other, and yes, we live each other, we live together, but uh, we're not uh, all the time together because uh, I had my job. Uh, fortunately, now I'm unemployed, but uh, I had my job, and she had her job with different uh, time periods of the day, uh, work day, she works nights, so. Uh, we communicate a lot of, through phone to ask questions to each other and more trivial things and just to hear each other's voice also. Anyway, we thought it would be important. Also, I put a photocopy of one of uh, my, one the pages of one of my phone bills uh, where my name appears here and I lighted my phone number here so that I could prove that uh, this number that appears so many times on, um, on my uh, on my uh, wife's phone records is actually my phone number. To, to prove that. Also, the reference letters. Uh, we got reference letters from um, it's a reference letter from my uh, uh, father-in-law, uh, my wife's. Um, uh, that okay. next, this is another reference letter from two of 
my uh, wife's uh, friends who met us and so they can talk about us and especially about me and what they think about me what they think about us as a couple also uh photocopy um I forgot, no uh these are all originals by the way <laughs> sorry uh it's late in the night i am so, sorry if i don't say <laughs> things correctly and it took a very long time to get all this application done very very tiring lots of time lots of effort so this is like i was saying this is a um, a beautiful letter wrote by um, one of my wife's brothers. Um, and this is a reference letter from my wife's best friend since high school, who uh, we also met several times. Uh, so he, he, he knows me and he met me, so it could, could be the ideal person to testify. Um, to give his opinion about my wife and how she was before, how she is now, that that she's with me and uh, how I am, how we are as a couple as well. Now, appendix K, a little thick like this. It's uh, photos and the evidence of outings together. On question two of the spouse and couple of part of questionnaire, they ask that uh, photos and evidence of outings together and uh, but like I said uh, at the time, uh, for that we try to keep it at the minimum not go nuts, and uh, we put in more information, more photos, more evidence on uh, this appendix K, which we uh, reference a lot on our letters, on the those letters that letter that I wrote and letter that my wife wrote as well about. Uh, events that we do together, things that we do together as a couple. Uh, we make lots of reference um, for these photos. So, uh, I can start. There's photos of, there's of photos. So, photos of us together with description as well. I put appendix K for the number one. I put description with date, location, and the, the um, situation. Also, Exhibits. This is our mark exhibits. Uh, in this case, exhibit A. These are photocopies of uh, movie tickets. This better. Photocopies of movie tickets that we went to see together. Uh, I circle uh, the tickets number to prove that these are in fact different tickets, but uh, so ticket for each person and not the same ticket for the copy twice. I explained that as well here. So continue, uh, several things also, um, places that we volunteer as well. Uh, for, uh, we went to a summer festival here and um, the, those photo booths appear on the, the movies like this and we took a, a we took a four photos there was three or four photos and I took a color for the copy of that I, that's interesting also as one of the exhibits the the tickets <laughs> the tickets of uh, that summer festival that we went together and also once again I, I circled the ticket numbers and the ticket barcodes and everything to prove that the tickets are different there are different tickets for the same day, for the same, uh, we're taking at the same time, but there are different tickets um, to prove that it's not the same photocopy twice. One thing that uh, would be important to explain and a tip for all of you that might be passing through the same situation is that it's important that once the application is sent uh, you not stop taking photos or gathering evidence of outings together or evidence that our relationship is genuine and continuing. It's important and this is an advice uh, after the application is sent to continue uh, to send more photos and more evidence of outings together uh, to Citizenship Immigration Canada with of course a cover letter um, with uh, your application number and um, and your name 
to explain uh, it's important for them to know that all this evidence, all these photos and all, the relationship doesn't stop after the application is sent. Yes, all these photos were taken way before uh, the applic this application uh, until also recent events that we went together they are including us the application but uh, our application does not our own relationship does not stop the moment the application is sent so after we send the application every two or three months I think we will be able to send more photos more evidence uh, that our relationship is genuine and continuing more documents that prove that uh, our love is for real um, I think that Teenship Immigration Canada would appreciate that and would um, I would see that this person, this couple are really in love. They didn't stop, okay, they're sick pictures for Teenship Immigration Canada and then, okay, the application is sent and then we're not going to do anything. No, uh, our relationship continues, so we're going to continue to do things that uh, normal couples do like going to the movies or going to uh, any festival together or a concert or whatever uh, and um, and it's important to show them that uh, even after the application is sent we continue to, to do all, things, all those things together it's just a tip for me also continue with the appendices almost done I promise but we have appendix L L, I mean, L, which is photos of both of us with uh, my wife's side of the family. Like I explained before, my side of the family is not here, uh, and uh, so we cannot take photos with them, and they don't even, they don't are much aware of my um, my relationship for personal reasons. Anyway, uh, I take different uh, people take different pets, I guess. Um, so, but we took photos with um, with my wife's side of the family, uh, like Christmas photos. It's the major event that uh, where my family gathers, uh, what my wife's side of the family gathers every year is the Christmas. So we put we put a photo of uh, um, us on Christmas, put date, location that Christmas spent at my wife's parents house and I put here who in the picture from left to right as well and who take the picture I also who took the picture I also put it here uh, Christmas photo number one I put it here at the bottom Christmas photo number one as well and next one 